So one part of your brain is smart and the other part is dumb. You can trick your own brain. That's how dumb the dumb part is. <laughs> it's in the same head. That's embarrassing. It's like, you don't hear this going on, dude. If you're in a bad mood, they tell you to fake smile and your dumb part will think it's a good day. I mean, you don't hear the planning going on? Like, you're a part of the planning. That would be like if you were a conjoined twin and you got thrown a surprise birthday party by the other twin. <laughs> Welcome back. That clip was from the hilarious new Amazon stand-up special. Hello, world. I watched it last night. It is hilarious. Hilarious. And he's been at this for 20 years. He's a comedian. We don't have to ask to be clean to be here for daytime <laughs> because he's already doing it. Please welcome back to the show the very, very funny Nate Bargetsi. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we just mentioned you've been doing this for 20 years. Yep. The fourth special, you must be getting recognized a lot now on the street. Uh, it happens more than it's ever happened. But it's still like when it happens to me, like they don't like people won't know who I am. So someone will be very excited. I'll take pictures. But when I leave, I then have to explain who I am to like <laughs> 10 people. And they're just like, why did they do that? You know, and then I, it's not like I'm just walking around asking people like, do you know me? Like uh, <laughs> I had a guy, one guy was at the airport and he worked there and uh, he was like, is there any money in that? Like he might do it. Like he just <laughs> sizing he me some up. Tips. Yeah, he was like, if you can do it, I can probably do it. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I love your special because you talk about your childhood. You make jokes about your middle child brother. Yeah. Um, all of that. You mentioned talk about your dad, who was actually a clown when you were growing up. Yeah. A magician now. He actually opens for you. How did all of the? How does all of this play into your comedy and your journey to get where you are now? He's so he's very good at what he does in magic. He's very funny. And so the funny side is, you know, obviously the side I got. And so he comes out with me a lot on the road and uh, we go to, we were just in Vegas and he, uh, he's just like my mom, I think just wants him out of the house now. So, <laughs> so I have to deal with him. And then, but he comes out and people love it and it's fun to be, you know, I talk a lot about my family. So I like to show my family and like all this stuff is real. It's like, I grew up with this. Like, you know, when I said I wanted to start comedy, it was like, my parents were fine with it. Cause I mean, my dad's a magician. So it wasn't that insane. Like, if I would have said I was going to be an accountant, that would have probably been weirder. Oh, yeah, that would have been weirder. Yeah, it would have been like, what? You know? So, it, it all, they've, it's been awesome, and I love getting to travel with him, and he does a great job, and it's a, it's a fun surprise for the crowd. How cool that you get to do that together. And oh, it's the best. The best, the best. And speaking of your dad, you know, you talk about your, your Christian upbringing, and you said that Jesus probably had more fun than you did. <laughs> as yeah, yeah. What do you mean by that? I mean, he probably did. He, his parents, they weren't as strict. Uh, <laughs> my, my parents were, the, you know, I, I grew up in the South, Southern Christian, like, so it's like 80s, 90s Southern Christian parents were the most strict parents. And I, I, I have no complaints about it. I was just naive a little bit longer than most kids were. And uh, so, like, I didn't, like, I told, I told the truth a lot. Like, I found a $20 bill on the ground. I talk about it in a special. And I turned it in because I just was like, I asked this guy if he dropped it. And he said he did. I mean, it was just, <laughs> and I think about that all. I was like, why did I, you can't even track down cash. But I was just walking around just asking. Look at that. You could have been $20 richer. Could've I could been, be, who knows where I'd be right now. You know? <laughs> Maybe an accountant. Maybe an accountant, yes. <laughs> I love that because you even talk about how, as a kid, you were at a sleepover and they wanted to watch an R-rated movie. And you were like, like, wait a minute, I'm not allowed to watch R-rated movies, and just how honest you were because of that upbringing. Do you think that's why you're known as the clean comic now? Oh, absolutely. Like, I, I don't want to do anything. I don't want my parents to ever be mad at me or, like, and it's, uh, I always thought, like, I want them to come to shows, and I could have never been dirty and, like, have them come. Like, I, like, uh, I want to, you know, like, you know, they want to tell them to watch people, and, like, you, you, I want them to be like, oh, you can watch my son, and, uh, that, so that, that plays so much into it. That one, it was, uh, I was, we were, they were going to watch Friday the 13th, and they all spent the night, and I went home. And you went home. I went home, because uh, <laughs> they were, I, I remember I called my mom, and I was like, they're going to watch it, and she goes, I don't, I don't think so. Nope. And I go, all right, and I, and I walked home. <laughs> so you have a preteen daughter, right? I have a 10-year-old daughter, yeah. Okay, does she think you're funny? She's like, she likes a couple jokes, uh, but then she's always it, like, just a couple, just a couple. <laughs> and then, uh, like literally I think two jokes and then she, it's all, she's like, it's for like adults. Like, so she doesn't, you know, I don't know if she like grasp it all. It's a, it's a lot. Like I do her career day. I'm doing her career day coming up. 
Uh, so Are the she kids likes impressed? That. Are they impressed? Yeah, when they I, come don't, in? I do go there. I'm like next to like a real, like a surgeon. Like it's like <laughs> next to like real people, and I'm just sitting there in comedy, you know. And they're like, I don't even know what to tell them. I, I could tell them, I'm like, y'all can quit school now if you want to. <laughs> if you go, if you go do what I do, you go ahead and get out. Listen, uh, you're a doctor for joy. Okay, that don't, is don't true. forget that. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Nate, for Absolutely. being here. Thanks we, for know, having me. So, so great to have mm -hmm. you here and making us all laugh. And you can catch his stand-up special, Hello World, streaming right now on Prime Video. It is really fantastic. Really is. You have to see it. And you, you don't have to, have to be... You know, weirded out if your kids walk in the room. Yeah, it exactly. Is very family friendly. <laughs> I love great. that. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here, to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.